There have been growing calls for the Catholic Church to take responsibility after the discovery of the remains of children at a former residential school in BC. Today, the Archbishop of Toronto held a mass to honor the victims, while Pope Francis still has not issued a formal apology. Manisa Denabalan has the latest. Le notizie che giungono dal Canada. During his statement from the Vatican today, Pope Francis expressed his sorrow about the discovery of the remains of 215 indigenous children at a former residential school in Kamloops, BC. But he still did not apologize after calls from the federal government. On Friday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau promised stronger action if the Catholic Church doesn't release residential school records in its possession. Before uh, we have to start taking the Catholic Church to court, uh, I am very hopeful religious leaders uh, will understand that this is something they need to participate in. De la Columba Britannica. Before congregation at St. Peter's Square, the Pope said, I joined the Canadian bishops and the whole Catholic Church in Canada in expressing my closeness to the Canadian people, who have been traumatized by the shocking discovery of the remains of 215 children pupils at the Kamloops Indian Residential School. Chief Stacy LaForme from Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation says it felt far short of an apology. I just think that it's um, just a response that had to be given and he, and he gave it. Um, you know, it's um, obviously he couldn't sit quietly and ignore this. He had to come out and say something. And so, you know, the, the idea of healing, it's, it's important for people to hear that those who are in charge take responsibility and know that we're the blame for this fall. And here in Hamilton at St. Patrick's Catholic Church, two pairs of shoes were placed at the altar while Father Tony O'Dell says they'll be praying for those who experience this trauma and ask for healing. But in Toronto, the Archbishop held a mass today in honor of the residential school victims with a moment of silence. When asked, he didn't clearly state whether the Pope issued an apology. I certainly think that the Pope expressed his grief at what happened. Is that uh, an apology? I, I don't know. Uh, he certainly did. We prayed for, for that. Uh, I know I, uh, this morning, and I'm the bishop of this, this place, but I, the, how sorry I am that this happened. I quoted the apology of the people who actually ran the schools, or the, not them, but the people, their predecessors. Laforme says victims of residential schools will never have justice, but at least the truth will give them answers. So finally the truth is starting to come out. If the records are all revealed, things like that, then we're starting to build on the truth. And that gives us a far better chance than we've ever had in the past. Because we cannot find healing, we cannot find reconciliation if we don't build upon the truth. Anything else we build on is just sand. Laform says in order for truth and reconciliation to take place, Catholic churches need to release those records. Back to you.